Hello, greetings to you wherever you are watching me from. I want to bring you greetings from Voice of Restoration International Limited, based here in Arua City in West Nile, Uganda. Today, I want to bring you um, an information for awareness on mental health. Because in most cases, people are confusing mental health uh, with mental illness. So many don't even understand when we talk about mental health, what we are referring to. Because I remember there are people who, who ask me, uh, you think we are mentally ill? That's why you're talking to us about mental health? No. Mental health is actually a good thing. That's why we are advocating for it. And uh, mental health includes our emotional, psychological, and social well-being. And it is the mental health that affects how we think. It affects how we feel. It affects how we act. That's why it helps to determine how we handle stress, how we're able to relate to, with others, and how we make choices. You know, so that's why we want to advocate for a good mental health. Why? Mental health is important in every stage of life, from childhood to, uh, to adolescence up to adulthood. Now, you see, there are times when these words are used interchangeably, but they don't mean the same. For instance, we can use the word poor mental health. And at the same time, we can use the word mental illness. These are not the same. Now, somebody can have a poor mental health, but they may not be diagnosed with a mental illness. And somebody can actually have mental illness, and they can actually experience uh, periods of physical, mental, and social well-being. Now, when we talk about mental health and advocating for mental health, we are trying our best so that you are able to maintain a healthy mind, so that you don't end up in a situation of a mental breakdown. You don't end up in the other aspects of mental health challenges. That's why we're talking about these issues. You know. Now, looking at my picture here, somebody who is under this circumstance expects a lot of damage in the mind of this person. But somebody who is here will be able to act well you know, everything will be well in all stages of life, whether childhood, whether adolescence, whether um, adulthood. Why there are so many problems happening now is because of this challenge. If your childhood has been full of this experience of pain, trauma, and a lot of issues here, socially, emotionally, financially, and all forms of abuse, if you express them here in a childhood or in adolescence or in, a, or in a adulthood, the chances are you may end up with poor mental health. And even consequently, you may also develop, uh, uh, you may end up with mental illness. And sometimes now, that's why men who are in this kind of circumstance end up now using other devices that actually make things worse. That's why many people that will end up in uh, uh, different uh, 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 aspects of life in the name of trying to cope with the situation. That's why so many people are into abuse of drugs and substances because of this feeling of fear of the pain. They think by taking their pain to drugs and all that, they may come out of their pain, but they are actually infused more pain to themselves. That's why many people who even now add drugs end up uh, with worse mental illnesses. That's why here, for example, here in West Nile, so many people are becoming mentally ill because of drugs, opium, marijuana, marungi, uh, alcohol of all types. Even we've buried people here because of alcohol. And many, many people are becoming uh, more challenged here, for example, with alcohol. Why? Because alcohol has damaged many people's cells. 
There are so many men who have become important. There are so many women who have become important. There are so many women who are who are who are, have miscarried. There are so many women who are going through hell. Why? Because of such drugs. That's why we are trying to say, you know what? Help is available. That's why we're here. Help is available. It will not be necessarily us here at Voice of Restoration International Limited here in West Nile, but still you can find help. Please, I want to encourage you, find somebody to talk to. Talk to somebody. It may help you. Talk to somebody. You know, engage the medical uh, uh, facilities. The problem here, when somebody now develops the mental illness or the, uh, the poor mental health, and then they begin to uh, experience some of these issues, and then we quickly begin to attribute it to witchcraft. We quickly take them to shrines. We quickly take them to the elders to be prayed for, because here we normally say uh, it is the elders who have maybe either spoken badly about them, so the elders need to go and appease, or if not, it is the social spirits. You know, so but at the end of the day, please let's seek for medical treatment. Medical treatment is the way to go. Begin from there. After medical treatment, let me tell you this: treatment will help you manage some of this. But still, I, why you go for medical checkups is so that you can be able to be screened. You need to be diagnosed, and if it is true, it is it needs medication. Please be on medication. And if they are not the necessary the medication, then you will need the therapies. That's why we're here to be able to run these therapies. That's why every third Saturday of the month we are here at the hub. You know, we are here at our offices trying to help people get information on mental health. That's why we bring the doctors, we bring the psychiatric nurses, we bring all uh, professionals in, in nature to mental health. Counselors are here. Last month we had a very good time here. You know. And even this month, and even Feb, Feb, we're actually going to talk more about understanding mental health because many people don't understand mental health here in our region. People think mental health is something else. But praise, friends, <laughs> we need to advocate for mental health because your mental well-being, your whole entire well-being is controlled by your mind. Once the mind is gone, nothing good can come. But still, we can still be able to rehabilitate, we can still be able to restore, we can still be able to manage. That's why you will need uh, to find out at what stage it is at. Where you need the therapies, we are available. Where you need somebody to talk to, please find somebody to talk to. Talk to somebody. Engage a counselor. You know, talk. Because men who are committing suicide nowadays, suicide is on the rise. Why? You think you are alone. No, you're not alone. I've been there myself. You know, if it is about uh, all of these issues that are coming th through this, I've been here myself from childhood. I've been here. Now, at my age, I can tell you I've been helped. That's why we are here also to be able to engage and help others as well. You could have, uh, have issues in your family. Maybe in your place of work, maybe in your relationship, maybe in your marriage, whatever, help is always available. I want to encourage you, seek for help. And when you're seeking for help, don't seek for sympathy. Because for many years of my life, I was only seeking for sympathy. I was looking for people to sympathize with me. It doesn't help. You need to find people who can help you to get solutions to these issues. And if it means that uh, uh, you need to deal with some of these issues, Please, hold the bull by the horns. So, please, I want to encourage you, we are here. If you don't know where our offices are, please, you can just give us a call. We can direct you if you are out of Arua or you are out of uh, West Nile, but still, you might need help because we operate here, West Nile, entirely. But still, even when we are, uh, there, there are people who need us in Kampala, the people who need us in other parts of this country, even out of this country, we are there to help, we are there to support. That's why we are having materials, we are producing materials to help people understand some of these issues. We are writing books, we are doing whatever we can to be able to give out information. Why? Because people perish for lack of information. That's why even God says it, my people perish for, because of lack of knowledge. So we want to be here of help, where you feel you need help, please. Maybe for your place of work, you need help. Maybe for your community, you need help. Maybe for your family, you need help. Please, we are available. We can be able to engage. Otherwise, I want to uh, 
thank you for following through our programs and uh, we run uh, many programs mental health advocacy is one of them counseling is another uh, part we do um, uh, capacity and uh, uh, Training and capacity building programs. We do uh, prevention of domestic violence and gender based violence as well, drug and substance abuse and rehabilitation, you know, and many of these other programs. You can check us on the website, Voice of Resident International Limited. Uh, you can check it out, Voice of Restoration International.org. That's our website. You can check it out. You can check our work on the website. You can check our, our programs. Even still, better still, you can come to our office and we, we just have a chat. We can be able to uh, work out things. We are there to see how best we can engage to bring services to humanity. God bless you. In case you need more services or you need to just engage, please, the contact is available. 0774-80. 5028. If you're out of this country, then you will need plus 256 774 80 5028. We can engage. That number is on WhatsApp. That number can call and it is over ever on. Please, let's engage. God bless you wherever you are. And please, together, let's enjoy the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Suicide shouldn't be an option for you. Suicide is not something good for anybody. Help is always available. Find help. Solutions are ever there. Please, Happy New Year 2023. And may this year be a fruitful year for you. Amidst all the challenges, amidst all the depression, amidst all the chaos, amidst all the challenges we go through. Otherwise, I want to wish you a fruitful, fruitful, fruitful 2023. 23. God bless you.